of Mr. Derrick. That's right. This is the voice of Mr. Derrick. 313-285-6627. I'm going to repeat it. 313-285-6627. You're in today for an exciting show. We have with us uh, the beautiful Miss Andrea Turnbow. She's coming again to us for a part two interview session. And we want to welcome Andrea Turnbow. How are you, Andrea? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Wow, wow. Tell us a little bit about yourself for those who have just tuned in and didn't see you last week. Who are you? I'm saved. That's not who I am, but I'm a child of God. That's who I am. And I'm, I'm many things. I'm a creation of the Lord. I'm wonderfully and masterfully made. And I am a um, student of the Word. I graduated from Cass Tech, U of D Mercy. Wayne, I went to Wayne State. Um, I went to U, U of D Mercy. Um, I have a bachelor's degree, a master's degree. I worked at U of D Mercy for 14 years as, as a library technician. Um, I were also worked at DPL for three years. Um, You're a very educated person, I can see yeah, that. I, I'm, I'm take, currently taking DBI classes. Okay. I'm in my very last class at an advanced Bible studies. I have a degree in Bible foundations in 2016 and in 2000 this year I want to get the very last class so yeah okay but you now also you're an author you I tell also am an artist I'm an author yes I, I wrote five five to six books that the Lord has given me it's not me he, he anointed my hands it's not me because I hated to write I didn't know how to write but the Lord anointed me yeah, I mean I had to try. I still kept trying, but it's the Lord who imparted that wisdom. I'm a scribe. I'm not just a writer. I'm a scribe. I'm not just an author. I'm a scribe unto the Lord. So you, uh, as a scribe, a scribes write. They they're write right. well, as they're directed to write. Is that what you? Come on, give me uh, give me some feedback. They write what the Lord has. They're 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 like a secretary. They write what the Lord has, but the Lord's giving me songs, and I'm I'm an artist. I'm the Lord has just downloaded. I'm wonder. I just. I. I, I just. I'm beautiful. <laughs> yes, you are. Yes, you are, and um, we're going to hear some words from you shortly. Uh -huh. But we want to let the people know that this show is brought to you by the house that God built the house that God built. And the philosophy of the house that God built is changing the world by saving our youth. Changing the world by saving our youth. And the poems and the, the, the words that you have written are very effective and they motivate youth, they motivate adults, they motivate everybody. So we're going to ask you to tune on in, and we will return shortly. With the house that God built, we want to give you a special message. Come on, come on with it, Andrea. Come on with it. Lift every voice and sing till earth and heaven rings. Rings with the harmony of liberty. Let our rejoicing rise higher 
stars that lift me in skies let every voice sound as the roaring sea hey hallelujah hallelujah we are just proud of that song yes 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 and if you can relate to it if you really can relate to that song then you can relate to the businesses in this country you can relate to the people who are raising up and taking their place in the land and that's what this show is all about the house that god built my name is mr derrick yes this is the voice of mr derrick phone number is 313-285 six six two seven i want to go to miss andrea turnbull who's an excellent author but she's written many books and i want to have her recite one of her poems from the book go right ahead and show us your book andrea let us see uh, and tell us a little bit about your book okay um the first book that i well, it's not my very first book. We did that last week. The second book is a continuation from last week. It's called Poetic Encounters with God. Seeing lift it up, lift it up. Poetic Encounters with God, Seeing God in Our Everyday Walk. And... Um, Tell us about it. I mean... This, this, this book is a poetic journey. Yes. If you into encountering god in a fresh way yes if you need to be refreshed mm -hmm. and have a renewal of your yes. spirit yes and know who jesus is yes come read this book okay you will really be blessed i believe it you will uh, have a flesh encounters not with just god uh -huh. not just a buddha uh -huh. or Hare krishna uh -huh. or, or some sacred but with the lord the god the father okay jesus christ okay Okay. And this is the poem I would like to read to you. Come on with it. Come on down. The truth. The truth. Seeking minds need to know. So they endeavor, if need be, to go to the furthest end. 230. To discover truth. But the truth, but is truth so distant, so far away? Pilate once asked Jesus, what is truth? Not knowing he was face to face with the answer. The truth has stood at the heart of many men and knocked. The truth is a person, the Christ, the Messiah. The truth is the Son of God revealed. He shows you the Father and your need for reconnection. The truth stands tall for every man to accept. What will you do when you meet the truth? Wow. Wow. What will you do, ladies and gentlemen? What will you do when you meet the truth? Well, we are, have puzzled around that question, and we have a special event that we want to tell you about. And... That event is the uh, special tour of the Underground Railroad. The Underground Railroad. And it's important to know that the Underground Railroad was a passage from slavery to freedom. Did you hear that, Andrea? It was the uh, passage uh, from, from slavery to freedom. Did, have you heard about that? Yes, I have never been on a tour though, but I've heard. I've heard. I, I did a paper on it at, at, at U of D Mercy, but I, I. But in Ohio, this actually was a place that it was a station in Ohio. But there, it was a, there were stations, or I don't know everything about it, but there were stations for freedom. And if you could get to Ohio or something. But there's also in Michigan too um, that you can you can find freedom. Yeah, this is an actual reenactment 
of uh, the actual uh, the actual passage, uh, and they have live actors, and it is a sensational performance. Um, with this tour, the you will also be um, surrounded, or you will have the opportunity to participate in a beautiful theatrical performance. So there'll be a theater that you'll sit in first, and you'll see a theater that will be good for the entire family. See, we are family, I mean, faith, family, and finance. That's the point that the house of God really wants to focus on. And the um, this is an event for the entire family. And it will bring up the whole family in helping us to understand our history and understand our past. Now, after the tour itself, there's also uh, an ex expo exhibit, which we will be able to see more details about uh, jobs, about employment, about um, um, health, wealth, and the things that we need. So we want you to come on down to this experience. This whole experience will be exhibited on our on the on our commercial so well, at the commercial you'll see when where and how you can participate but this will be a beautiful way for you to help and to to help the the house that god built as well as to help many businesses and many community organizations so we're getting ready to fade out to our commercials right now but i want you to really think about it we want you to come to the expo and to the beautiful freedom tour In case you're wondering, this is the voice of Mr. Derek. Yes, 313-285-6627. If you want to get more information about the house that God built or any of our sponsors, we have many, many beautiful community and business sponsors that are here to serve you. Then you call me. Call me at 313-285-6627. But as again, for those who have just tuned in, we have in our audience the, the wonderful Miss Andrea Turnbow. And she's an author. She's an educator. And we want her to tell us a little bit about her friend, Deborah. Deborah is in the Bible. It's a, people talk about women empowerment, and I'm a woman, but she is in the Old Testament, and she is the first judge in the old in the Bible. And in Deborah, she t she told um, Barak that he would conquer. Sar 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 let, me, let me open up the Bible. I have the Bible. I can read. Sis Sisera. But that um but Sisera wanted Deborah to go into war with him. And she and but she said, You won't get the glory as a man, but a woman will get the glory. And he thought that Deborah was gonna fight. But it comes out that it says, and I'll read it for you here. And behold, as Barak pursued Sisera. Je Jewel came out to meet him and said unto him, Come 
and I will show thee the man whom thou seekest. And when he came into her tent, behold, Sisera lay dead, and the nail was in his temple. See, Barak thought Deborah was going to do the fighting, but it was another woman who did it. She drove the stake through Barak's head. And let, just like the devil, Jesus, he's, we, he said he's going to put his heel. He says the devil is going to bite the heel of, of the devil, of, of the head of, he will bite the heel, the heel of, of God, but God will crush the head of Satan. Deborah, or Jo Ju she put a stake through the enemy's head, and the devil is an enemy, and his head is crushed on this week, or we celebrate for Easter. He was crucified, and that's why we're celebrating this time. Wow. He is a defeated foe. He thought that if he could kill Jesus, that he had completed his task. But he didn't know that it was a setup. It was. It was a setup. A setup. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. We how we how many people are ready for the setup? Yes, it was a set up. Well, we gotta move on. And what I wanna do is again talk a little bit about the house that God built. The house that God built. The house that God built is a uh, organization right now in our community and it was started because a home or because a property was a property was actually a property a property was a, a property a property was um, desecrated was destroyed in the Detroit area. And um, it was a home, but the vandals came into the home and they they took the furnace, they took the water tank, they devastated the whole, whole all, the entire property. And it was devastating, the amount of uh, expense that it would cost to re repair the damage. But what a uh, group of investors and a group of people from the community have came together and they decided that they would, instead of repairing the house and preparing it for just one or a few people to benefit, they decided to commit the entire property to the community. And so it will become a community house. So we would want your prayers and we would want your continued support in the house that God built. This house, the children in the neighborhood will be able to come and do their homework. The, this house will not tolerate drug houses in the same community. This house is a house that will, will continue to provide employment and provide opportunity and jobs for the community. We are very proud of this house. And that is why it is called the house that God built. So Andrea, I want to ask you just for a second, you had a chance to see some of the damage that was done to the house. Could you describe the damage that you saw done to the house? It was terrible. I lived in that house at that time. It was restored. My sister had restored it. For an, and, and then someone who was sick in their soul, sick in their soul, came and destroyed a property. They didn't just take something. That's a difference between just taking something because you need it to eat or something. But they wanted to do harm. They wanted it to do harm. They took out the tank, the sink. They took off tiling. 
it was very devastating what 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 they did but you know you said the right words they were sick in their souls and god god is not moved by that and we aren't either we want to help to rehabilitate and re rebuild their souls and that's why the house that god built wants to reach out to the community itself and it wants to bless the community it wants to protect the community from foreclosures and several other ills that many neighborhoods face so again if you want to find out more about the house that god built if you want to find out how you can help or what you can do to make it uh, uh, a better place for the community then call me at 313-285-6627 again my name is Mr. Derek, and the number is 313-285-6627. Now, additionally, we support businesses in the community, such as uh, the business that Andrea Turnbow is participating in. She is an author, a major author in this community. And she gets out words that help inspire the community itself. We want you to do business with Andrea. We want you to do business with many of our other supporters. So Andrea will be with us at our skating events that we will have in that we have. And you'll see flyers to, to that effect. She will also be with us on our beautiful Freedom Tour. And so please continue to support us andrea is that uh something that you see how do you see the support of the house that god built how how, how do you see it helping the community we need help because the community has gone down um it used to be a neighborhood where in my neighborhood, growing up, I could go up with my, I could go. Up, my mother would send me across the street to Miss Clark's house to get some sugar, you know, and bring it back, you know. And it was a community. It was a community. And I remember the Mr. Bell, you know, talking with my father, and just, uh, just the relationship. You know, now I don't even know any of my neighbors. You know, I don't know who they are. But I have friends across the world. He says, who is your neighbor? Your neighbor is whoever you help. That's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And you see, we want to bring back the neighborhood. We want to bring back the community. And unless we put our hands together, unless we put our heads together, we will not succeed. And so we expire and we really challenge you to reach out and help the community, help us in our effort. So we will return after these messages. The voice uh, of Mr. Derek, 313-285-6627, 313-285-6627. Yes, I'm talking about the house that God built, and we have a special guest in our studio by the name of Andrea Turnbull. So if you want any more information about Andrea Turnbow or some of the, the books that she's written or you want more information about the house that God built, please give me a call. God bless. <laughs> 